Welcome back to the Keto Journey. I'm your host, Jermaine, and today we're going to be going over what happened this last week. Also, I realized after watching the last video, I didn't explain what this keto diet was. I just said, hey, I'm doing this thing. It's a keto diet and hope I lose some weight. So today I'm actually going to explain what the keto diet is. And at the end of the video, of course, I'm going to throw some numbers at you. How much I weigh now, how much I weighed when I started two weeks ago. All that fun stuff so anyways so what happened this last week it was a little easier than it was the first week uh, I didn't have too many cravings except for when I went grocery shopping I went down some aisles that I don't really need to go down anymore and let me tell you little Debbie's are still calling my name the new little Debbie's are like the zebra cakes except for their rolls fat me was like let's get that and eat them before we get home because that would be awesome so I didn't buy any snacks for myself. One awesome benefit of being on this, I'm gonna stop calling it a diet because after this week, I feel like this is something I can do for the rest of my life. Like, I mean, there'll be occasions when we're on vacation and of course, if we're in like Philly, I'm gonna get a Philly cheesesteak. I'm not on vacation all the time, so I will continue to um, eat the way I've been eating for the last week or two. So yeah, I'm not gonna call it a diet anymore. I think this is a lifestyle that I can come accustomed to. We're able to try different foods. We're cooking different things. Like this this week, I cooked keto cheeseburger muffins. I thought they were gonna be horrible because the ingredients I was putting into it, some flax seed meal, almond meal, tomato paste. Like the tomato paste is probably normal, but I never cooked with that. That sounds disgusting. And when you look at it, ugh, it looks like a baby puked in a can and said, here, you eat this. Um, but it was good. Um, it was real good. It actually tasted like a cheeseburger. I mean, I would have put more cheese in it, and I think I will next time. But um, it was it was pretty good. And we have had dessert. My wife made some keto cheesecake bites. I guess they're they're called, and they were awesome. So now that we got that out of the way, let me give a quick quick introduction to what this keto lifestyle is. Brief brief facts on it of what I think is important and then we'll get into the numbers. Essentially it's low carb, high fat. In order for this thing to work, in order to lose the weight that I'm trying to lose, I decided to cut the carbs and eat more fat. So <laughs> there's a formula, there's these things called my macros um, that broken down between protein, fat, and carbohydrates. You want your carbohydrates to be as low as possible. Mine, I believe, are at 5%. Uh, your fats to be the highest. I think my fats are at 80%. So 5% of the food I eat can only, they, the carbohydrates can only account for 5% of my total food for the day. 80% for the fat, and the protein is at 15%. And the first two weeks, I didn't count my calories. Um, I just ate what Gracie told me to eat and and that's what I did and there were some results because of that and we'll get into those a little later that's about it you watch what you eat you cut your carbs you go to reddit slash r slash keto and read a bunch of information on how to cook the keto way how to eat lunch the keto way how to overcome those cravings and all that fun stuff and aside from the family unit that has been a big help to me i've been on there pretty much daily uh, researching and looking up different recipes and stuff like that also i will link a blog in the description that goes way into detail way more than i'm going to in regards to how this keto thing works and i gotta say it's only been two weeks and i am a believer i guess it's time to get on those numbers i started two weeks ago I weigh 308 pounds. Over the last two weeks, I have lost an average of 5.3 pounds a week, which is a total of 10.6 pounds, which means I weigh 297.4 pounds. 297.4 pounds, that's why I'm under 300. I haven't been under 300 for like the last year and a half, maybe two. I always thought once I hit 300, I'm gonna be like, oh man, I gotta gotta lose some weight but that didn't happen like I hit 308 I think it was higher at that higher than 308 at some point I'm under 300 I'm not going back above 300 this is our new lifestyle this is the way I'm gonna eat going forward 
we will do this again next week. Before I go, um, one of my buddies, Ryan, he asked me, he's like, so how's the diet going so far? Or he asked me, what was the hardest thing so far in the diet? I think the hardest thing so far has been thinking I've been messing up. Because if you look into it and do research, it's like, oh, I'm eating bacon and eggs and sausage and cheese. That's what I'm eating for dinners. Or I'm eating... All kinds of stuff that usually, typically, you think, ah, I can't eat those because it's high in fat, but that's how the diet works. Low carbs, high fat. That's what you got to do. So, yeah, the entire time I've been thinking I've been messing up, but hey, I lost 10.6 pounds, so I'm doing something correct. And I will continue to do something correct until I'm down to, I don't even have a goal weight. I should probably come up with a goal weight. Um, negative 50. That's, that's my goal weight. Until next week, this is Jermaine signing off. And every week we're going to have a saying, and this week's is... k k k keto.